Welcome to this month's Nutrition Pearl, Pediatric Inorganic Arsenic Exposure from Rice Products, presented by the Council for Pediatric Nutrition Professionals. There are two forms of arsenic, organic and inorganic, and both are found in the components that we use for food growth and production. The inorganic form is considered to be more toxic. The FDA began monitoring these levels in 2011 and in 2016 suggested a limit of less than 100 parts per billion of arsenic in infant rice cereal. There are no limits on other foods at this time. Rice has higher levels of inorganic arsenic and is therefore considered to be a greater threat than other foods because its absorption of arsenic is greater than other crops. Negative effects of arsenic in babies and children can include impaired brain development, slowed growth, increased incidence of respiratory disease, impaired immune function, and increased risk of cancer in adulthood. Babies and young children are at high risk for exposure because they consume more food per pound of body weight than adults, and the first foods offered can be rice heavy particularly when exposed to formulas with, made with rice syrup, when rice cereal is introduced as a first food, or when rice cereal is added to formula to thicken. Children on special diets, such as food allergies or a gluten-free diet, are also at risk due to the limited variety of their intake and increased use of rice-based alternatives. Some ways that we can reduce arsenic exposure for babies, young children, and those on special diets include avoiding brown rice syrup in formula, avoiding the use of rice cereal as a thickener, introducing solids other than rice cereal, trying a variety of grains, using specific rice cooking methods, and testing soil or water.